Is Project IDX going to replace VS Code? Let's find out. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to explore what does it mean Project IDX and why it could replace VS Code. If you haven't heard about Project IDX, then I recommend you watch this video till the end because after that, you will know what is this and you will know how to use it. And it's really important. If you are ready, then let's get started. Project IDX is a code editor developed by Google. It's designed to change the way we write and manage code. Let me highlight the features of Project IDX and give you my opinion why you should use it and why it could be better than VS Code. Basically, Project IDX is a VS Code inside the browser. It's been VS Code on the cloud. To access it, you have to go to the website idx.google.com. IDX includes many features. One of the features is AI, so let me enable AI. Then after a few seconds, you will be able to start building your app in the cloud. You can start something new from my templates. And here available Angular, Next.js, Flutter, Gemini API, Astra, Go, Python, Flask, Node, Express, and many other. You can import your repository from GitHub as well or start the project from my template. By clicking see all templates, you will be able to see all of them. These are templates for web app, for backend, for mobile, for AI and ML, and MISC. Okay, let's try some template. I will choose mobile one. I will choose Flutter. So first thing I have to do, give the name for my workspace, my first Flutter app, then click create. It could take some time to set an up workspace. So you have to be patient. Just wait a bit. If you see this warning, please don't worry. It will just take a bit longer. We're almost there. It's my template for Flutter app. As you can see, it start appearing. So the main difference between VS Code and IDX is that IDX is the VS Code on the cloud, like I said, plus it's also create for you all environments that you need for your application. It's when you don't have to set up anything on your computer, IDX will set everything for you. For example, for my Flutter app, we will be able to see application uh, in my screen. Right hand side, we will see emulator uh, and we will see web version of application. As you can see, start loading. Uh, this is the web version and this is my Android version. Uh, I can adjust the width of the elements on the screen. It's exactly like a VS Code, but with all the equipments that you need for test your application. As you can see, our application is loading right now. Here we go. This is our app, Flutter app. As you can see, this is the Android emulator. We can uh, modify the code left hand side and everything will be updated right inside, inside your emulator and web version as well. Okay, let me show you. I will change the counting for counter. Instead of increasing by one, we will increase by two. Let's update our emulator. And as you can see, once I click the plus, counter increased by two. Okay, let's try to change the title. I will change title Flutter Demo on one to three. And as you can see, it's work. This is the web version. As you can see, everything worked the same. Perfect. Another cool feature is AI Assistant. We can have chat with AI or start inline chat directly inside the code. It's similar to Copilot for VS Code. So if you're familiar with that, you will know how to use it. But basically you write your question and then you will get answer. And those answer you can insert directly inside your code. You also can use comments to ask AI for suggestion for your code. Just write what you want and AI will show you suggestion. It's really cool because all these functionalities are available in IDX. 
it definitely can speed up your development process. Similar to VS Code, you can change theme, you can make it dark, you can add extensions. Also, you will have all functionality like terminal and so on. And my favorite one is Firebase deployment. It's also built in. In my next video, I will show you how to build the project and how to deploy it on Firebase directly from IDX. So as you can see, Project IDX gives you a lot of flexibility and freedom. Everything on the cloud, you can access it anytime. You have AI assistant, plus you have all the environments that you need to set up for test your application. It doesn't matter mobile or web, if you, everything will be available. It definitely could be useful for some projects, plus it's absolutely free. So I highly recommend you to try it and make your decision. That's it. I hope you like this video. I hope you find it useful and informative. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, it's okay. But please click like and share your feedback and comments below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you already subscribed on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now because it's a good moment. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.